All right, it's weather for Weather Geeks time. Welcome back, everyone. It is Tuesday evening, and uh, we had kind of a close call today with a band of thunderstorms. We have a severe weather threat to talk about on Wednesday and probably again on Saturday as well. Wanted to first to kind of uh, do a little reminder of what a derecho is. It's a, it's a term that gets thrown around sometimes when we talk about these big thunderstorm clusters that travel long distance in the uh, summertime. Just like with a lot of other types of weather phenomena, there are there is kind of a technical definition of a derecho. It's basically a long-lived windstorm. Well, how long-lived? Generally more than 240 miles worth of wind damage reports and wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or higher consistently along most of that path. That's when it's you know most often considered to be a derecho. This band last night may qualify. Uh, there's been no you know sort of declaration, if you will, by any entity as of this point, but at the very least, this was an MCS, Mesoscale Convective System, something that is pretty commonplace in certain weather patterns in the uh, summer season. Oftentimes, these are born in the upper Midwest, cascade down through the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley. Sometimes they dive all the way into the Deep South. Sometimes they go all the way to the East Coast. This one was aimed mostly at Illinois, Indiana, and especially Western Michigan. Thankfully for Eastern Ohio and Western PA, this uh, kind of petered out right on schedule right around midday today. We were never real confident that we would have big impacts around here. And in fact, most of us just stayed dry through the midday hours for today. But the wind reports came in hot and heavy this morning across eastern Wisconsin and western Michigan, especially, uh, with a lot of wind damage and some hailstones as well. This uh, swath of thunderstorms was actually born way up over northern Minnesota and then did kind of like this. And this is very common in certain weather patterns in the summer season, especially when you have a ridge of high pressure over the southwest and a northwest flow aloft down over the Midwest and the uh, Great Lakes states. And uh, we're gonna see this probably several more times before the summer is through. In the wake of that MCS overnight, it got seasonably warm today, but it turned more humid by the second half of the day. The dew point as of early this evening up to 64 locally, as high as 70 in Cincinnati and 72 in Detroit. And this more tropical air is advecting north and east. And so, yeah, no more comfortable nights, at least for a couple of nights anyway, uh, as it will be air conditioning season once again tonight and into our Wednesday. Compared to the same time last evening, in the 7 o'clock hour Eastern time, 10 degrees higher, that dew point. We had a very comfortable night last night. Tonight, not so much. We'll drop maybe a degree or two below 70 in most spots. Now, with this kind of warm advection, or at least moisture advection overnight, there might be a passing shower. That should be about it. Most of the night will be dry. We're going to wait until mostly Wednesday afternoon for the lion's share of the raindrops to come our way. This is what the Storm Prediction Center did with their midday update to the day two severe weather outlook. Slight risk level two out of five uh, in the yellow coloring for a lot of Southern Ohio, a lot of West Virginia, and a lot of Pennsylvania as well. Now in our television viewing area, we're mostly in that level one risk on our one to five scale. Uh, clouds may inhibit it getting from too unstable here locally. I think we're going to be fighting those clouds for a lot of the day, and that may minimize the severe weather, at least severe wind threat here locally. But we are concerned about at least some heavy rain. We may not see a lot of wind. We, we could see some bouts of strong winds, but maybe the bigger threat locally might be bouts of heavy rain, especially, say, between 3 and 7 p.m. on our Wednesday. I think the overall risk for damaging winds and even isolated tornadoes is higher in places such as Morgantown, Marietta, maybe even as far north as Pittsburgh, and certainly over towards State College, Altoona, all the way over towards New York City late in the day tomorrow and into tomorrow night. So the rainfall totals, as you would expect in this kind of a setup in the summer season, they're going to be variable. As far as an area-wide average, though, a half an inch to an inch as far as an area-wide average, but your mileage can certainly vary uh, in a setup like this tomorrow. wouldn't be surprised if some places got a couple of inches worth of rain somewhere in eastern Ohio and western PA. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, or some communities may struggle to get a half an inch worth of rain. That's just, you know, that's going to be how it goes sometimes, or oftentimes, I should say, in the uh, summer season. So here's the latest kind of uh, model depiction of this via our in-house model. Uh, by 2, 3 o'clock, it may be raining in a lot of spots. Now, right at, you know, kind of the beginning of this bout of, of you know, rain and thunder, this may be our best chance of seeing some strong wind gusts right at the beginning of this, early in the afternoon. Uh, after that, it may just be more of just a rain event for a lot of our television viewing area. It'll rain for a handful of hours, probably tapering off before sunset in the evening. 
And then in the wake of this front, a much nicer day Thursday. Any morning clouds will give away to plenty of afternoon sun, lowering dew points. And while Friday will be warmer, as that high slips off to the east, uh, the dew points will stay in check at least through the daylight hours on Friday. Then the sequence Friday night into Saturday is a lot like tonight into Wednesday. The dew points come up, cold front approaches, pretty good chance of showers and storms on Saturday. And you'll see that depicted on this graphic with the dew points. You know, we peak on Wednesday and then drier air for a couple of days. And then look at how soupy Saturday could be. And then the dew points will drop on Sunday and they'll stay pretty low into early next week. So this is indeed a real back and forth pattern for the next several days. And I, I do think that Saturday's severe weather chances may also be dependent on cloud cover. If we get enough breaks in the clouds on Saturday, there's quite a bit of wind energy aloft and some wind shear to contend with on Saturday. And that could uh, spell a somewhat higher severe weather risk, especially Saturday afternoon. But it may be dependent on seeing breaks in the clouds. If it ends up being just a pretty cloudy day, like tomorrow may end up being, then that would lower these severe weather risks on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. And of course, we have the 4th of July coming up next week. This is today's 6 to 10 day temperature outlook from the uh, Climate Prediction Center and pretty good odds of a warmer than average stretch. Now, is this going to be a record warm 4th of July? No. I don't think we're going to see middle 90s or anything like that. But I think there's going to be pretty consistently temperatures well up into the 80s in both the run up to the holiday and right around the 4th and the 5th when a lot of people have a few days off. I think the 4th is on a Thursday this year. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people are going to have not only some of us might have the whole week off, but some people will have Thursday, Friday into the weekend off. And at this point, I don't see anything that screams any sort of dangerous heat wave, but I also think it'll be pretty darn warm in time for the 4th of July this year. We're going to have more updates on these severe weather risks for the short term and the medium range in future editions of Weather for Weather Geeks and coming up tomorrow evening on Wednesday evening. We'll recap whatever transpired in the, in the run-up to the early evening hours on our Wednesday. Hope to see you then. Have a great rest of your Tuesday night.